Welcome to Third Eye Champagne. I'm Kirsten Langston, author and intuitive. This is your March 2024 forecast. Welcome. We're going to go through a few things here. So we are going to be looking at your astrology. We're going to be looking at your cards for the month. Then we're going to dive into... Um, I've been picking amulets for each month out of this book. Great book. Um, we've been doing divining out of Black Elk Speaks. And then we've also been getting a little bit of wisdom out of Emmanuel's book. In addition, we're also going to be looking at numerology for you and your free spell from thirdeyechampagne.com. So let's jump into it. You know me. I'm Kirsten Langston. I am here to bring the fun and the party to all things psychic, spiritual, and paranormal. Let's go. So Taking a look at your March 2024 cards, as you can see, once again, we have a traditional Celtic going on here. I want to start with your first card, the death card. We have change coming in. Is this surprising? No. Why is it not surprising? Because we are in eclipse season, honey. That's right. So we see major changes coming in. Crossing it, we have the Six of Swords, which is a card of victory and healing. But I think we're going to have some delayed victory and healing here. I think this is going to be something a bit prolonged. The reason I say that is because in the home environment, we have the Two of Swords. She's just sitting there. Seven of Pentacles is also here, just sitting there. We have the Delay card, the Three of Swords, also just sitting there. So even though, once again, just like last month, we have the same card here in the same position, which is very interesting, cards of movement. We have that six of swords there in the same position. We also have a similar card to that five of wands at the root of the reading. We have the eight of wands at the root of this particular reading. I still don't think we're going to get a lot of movement. The empress is kind of just sitting there. You know, even, even in the past, we have our nine of cups just sitting there. And then the devil is here. And for me, the devil is just like gumming up the works. The devil is coming in this month and ruining lives, basically. <laughs> Devil's coming in and saying, oh, yeah, you know that thing that like you didn't think it was going to break this month or, you know, it, 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 the warranty just ran out and now it's broken. Um, you know, suddenly you have a, a rodent problem you have to deal with. Suddenly your computer breaks. This is that kind of energy. It's like gremlins, you know. So beware of that energy for this month. We are moving into some very big changes thanks to eclipse season, but it's going to be delayed. Whatever you're looking for, whatever action you're looking for, whatever movement you're trying to achieve this month, expect delays. Expect delays and look for things to gum up the works. This is the kind of month where you want to plan for extra stuff. You want to plan and go, okay, yeah, I, I just, you know, let me give myself some extra time getting to the airport. Let me back everything up on my computer. You know, if there's something I've been meaning to fix, this is the month to do it and do it early. This is the move for the month. So you're going to have action. You're going to have change. It's not gnarly per se. I know people see the devil and they see that three of swords and they go, oh, I don't like these cards. They're a little bit scary on T. They're not really... For me, that three is just really giving me delays, just saying, eh, you're not going to get what you want right away. Keep going, keep moving, keep going forward. That's an absolute yes, but you're not going to get what you want right away. You're going to be waiting on other people, and other people are going to have that devil card, you know, gumming up the work. So you might be waiting on, you know, the plumber to come through for something very simple, but he's going, oh man, I have 10 emergency customers all of a sudden. It's that kind of vibe. It's that kind of vibe. So as long as you plan ahead, you know, you're really looking ahead, accepting the change, understanding that things that you may want, you're not going to get right away. You're going to do just fine this month. Let's go over to our free spell for the month. So every month you're getting a free spell. There's a bunch up here on the site. Again, I say this every video, but I like to think of the spells more as rituals that really help you focus your energy, focus your intention, and get into your subconscious and your unconscious because that's where we truly create. That is truly where we create your spell for March. So this is for creativity and upward motion. On the third day of the third month of the new year, Get an orange candle and some blessing oil. Anoint the candle. 
To bring creativity, security, and upward motion into your life, find a quiet spot and light the candle. Sit with the candle and focus on the flame. Thank the universe and thank yourself. Spend about 5 to 10 minutes doing this every day until the candle burns out. On T note, eating cumin on the first day of this ritual will magnify the spell. Don't eat it raw, put it in a dish, go have some tacos or something. <laughs> And once again, as with all the other ones, you know, you can perform this on any third day of any month. It's here for the third month of the year. That's, that's the, the ideal time, but you can perform it on any number three day of any month. You can perform this ritual and it will help you out. I have a lot of stuff coming up for you this month, so make sure you're checking at thirdeyeschampagne.com. If you want to get that good juju, honey, become a patron, become a member of thirdeyeschampagne.com. They're the same price. They start out at the same price, but you definitely get more bang for your buck at thirdeyeschampagne.com. And also with that, you know, that's all uncensored. I, I get censored on every social media platform I am on. I have to really watch it. So if you want raw, uncensored subject matter and speech, then that's where you want to be. That's where you want to get all of that stuff. Thank you so much for your support and your love, your attention, your kindness, your participation. I do love you. I do adore you. I am definitely your biggest cheerleader. Be well.